children we already covered the topics so we are going to do now practice papers these all are board papers only the first section that is section a is having one mark question so y equal to 0 is the equation of which axis you, you very well know that it is the equation of x axis is a line parallel to x axis at a distance of 5 unit below x axis is given by the linear equation y equal to 5 it is yes or no question only so y equal to 5 it is not possible only because it is below x axis only below x axis means it should be negative so when you are going for the diagram you can see that uh, this question uh, diagram almost the line will come like this only so it is y equal to minus 5 it is correct y equal to 5 it is wrong only so we should write no only what do you understand by perpendicular bisector of a line segment Perpendicular bisector of a line segment means it's a line which divides the line segment in two equal halves and also making 90 degree with the line. So it's a line which divides the line segment into two equal halves at 90 degree. Next question. Compute the curved surface area of the hemisphere whose diameter is 14 centimeter. Since it's a one mark question, so no, uh, there is no need of much explanation but still we have to write R equal to 14 by 2 it is equal to 7 centimeter. CAC of the hemisphere it is equal to 2 pi r square substitute 7 will get cancelled so final answer is 308 centimeter square now the section B starts uh, the it is for two marks question number five in the figure a b c d is a rhombus whose diagonals meet at to find x and y diagram is given so a b c d is a rhombus means a diagram we can mark that all the four sides are equal and also uh, the diagonals meet at o we know one property that is angle uh, diagonal bisect each other at 90 degree only so that we are writing first angle a o b equal to 90 degree what is the property of the uh, rhombus it is diagonal bisect each other perpendicularly now what is asked in the question x and y is asked since it is a two marker there is no need of writing given to prove like that any construction is required we have to and a diagram is there diagram we have to complete so here diagram we have done already and in triangle oab if we are considering angle o is 90 degree already we got and a 35 degree is given so we can calculate what is x by angle sum property what is x there x equal to 55 what is the reason we should write here angle sum property so when we are having the two mark question it is given for one mark x equal to 55 you are calculating another what is the question it is asked for a y only so in triangle abd we know that the side ab equal to ad only because it's a rhombus now if you are considering one triangle only it should be so abd we are considered these two sides are equal the angle opposite to these sides are also equal x equal to y that means angle x equal to angle y angle x is already calculated it is 55 therefore y equal to 55 so write the reasons correctly and stepwise you should solve then only you will get the full mark so whenever the two mark question is there given to prove you can avoid but any construction is required any diagram is required that must be the then the proof we can write directly so what is the answer this question x and y are equal to 55 degree Next question. In the given figure, O is the center of the circle and angle BOC equal to 130. Find the measure of angle ADC and ABC. So, if the diagram is given, angle O is 130 degree. Here, there is no need of showing the diagram at all because we can write it correctly because the letters are same only. So, in triangle OCB, if you take OC and OB are radius only. So, what you can say about angle C and angle B? That means OC and OB. OB I can mark as equal so these are the base angles that is equal to X I have taken now already it is a triangle if it is 130 then what you can say about X plus X it is equal to 50 that means each angle equal to 25 degree only that is we are written here I have not written the answer reason here what is the reason angle opposite to equal side okay 
so x we got 25 x means which angle a b c so in question we got angle a b c one more is asked what is a d c now for getting a d c what, what we should take uh, we should keep the fingers on a and c then you are getting an angle a b c and the same segment you are getting another angle angle a d c so if it is 25 or if it is x means this also x only x value we have calculated it is 25 therefore angle a d c is also 25 so what is the reason for this one angles in the same segment seventh question a hemispherical bowl made of iron has inner radius 7 centimeter find the cost of polishing inner hollow portion of bowl at the rate of rupees 10 per 100 centimeter square so hemispherical bowl is made up of iron has an inner radius so what we should take down r equal to 7 centimeter now what is the next step csa ask the csa formula to be written 2 pi r square what is the next step substitute it 2 into 22 by 7 into 7 into 7 simplify 308 centimeter square what is the next step cost of polishing inner hollow portion by 10 per 100 centimeter square only so we are writing here per 100 uh, centimeter square what is the cost polishing cost for polishing it is equal to 10 by 100 that is 1 by 10 centimeter square so total cost is equal to 1 by 10 into total area that is 1 by 10 into 308 it is equal to 30.80 again surface area what is given in the question to be written that is diameter radius for uh, the any height like that anything is given that should be written then formula to be corrected the next step is substitution then the simplification so here total cost is asked it is 30.80 rupees next question question number eight find the mean of all composite numbers between 30 and 40 always prime number only ask us so composite number also chances are there for asking so between 30 and 40 the composite numbers are 32 33 34 35 36 38 and 39 how many are there seven are there so what is the formula that to be written next mean equal to sum of the observations divided by total number of observations that is equal to 32 plus 33 plus 34 plus 35 plus 36 plus 38 plus 39 divided by 7 it is equal to 35 by 7 now if you want to write the formula you can also write like the sigma xi by n only so now the, what is the value it is equal to 35 by 35.7 the probability of guessing the correct answer is for a certain question it is x by 2 and the probability of not guessing the correct answer is 2 by 3 find x so we already know that sum of the probability it is equal to 1 only so we are noting that p of e is the probability of occurrence of the event and p of e complement p of e bar we will write that e complement we can read or e bar we can read it's the probability of non-occurrence of the event so sum is equal to 1 just substitute x by 2 plus 2 by 3 equal to 1 and solve for x it is equal to 2 by 3 next question pqrs is a trapezium in which pq parallel to rs diagonals pr and qs intersect each other at y show that area triangle ryq equal to area triangle syp this question is from area of the parallelogram chapter 9 only the current academic year it is deleted so nothing to worry about that one since it is a questions from the question paper i am just solving that one so there is a rule that triangles are on the same base and between the same parallels we have they have the same area so which are the triangle triangle PSR that is the basis SR and QSR QSR is also basis SR that means both the triangles are on the same base SR and between the parallels PQ and SR what is the rule says that triangles are on the same base and between the same parallels they have equal area so both the triangles are on the same base SR and parallels PQ and SR therefore their areas are equal equal now we want s r y q and s y p so s y p means this part only so we have to subtract s y r that is the common area we are uh, subtracting from both both are intersecting at y only now what is the next step i have to delete this common portion right so we are deleting the common portion then what we'll get both the side we are deleting triangle psr minus syr and qsr minus syr so the result will be syp see that one 
P S R. I have deleted this. What is remaining P Y S? So that is S Y P. It is equal to R Y Q. So we got area of the triangle S Y P equal to area of the triangle R Y Q. Now section C. Section C carries three marks only. Eleventh question. Give the geometrical representation of y equal to c as an equation in one variable and two variables. Both the case it is asked. One is a geometrical uh, representation in one variable. Another one is a geometrical representation in two variables. When it is a one variable, it is a number line format only. So we have to draw a number line, and on there only we have to write the right side of the zero positive and the left side of the zero. is negative and y equal to 2 is the equation so on 2 we will write y equal to 2 so we got the equation in one variable sometimes it will be asked that that to be present in the number line also then now the next part is the geometrical representation in two variable so the first step is that we should write the equation in two variable so the equation became 0x plus 1y equal to 2 now what is the next year solution to be written so y equal to 2 only so we'll complete the table like this y equal to 2 3 times so three values will get correspondingly we can write x value as anything 0 1 minus 1 like that whichever is possible to mark now represent the graph x axis y Y axis draw first uh, positive numbers, negative numbers. Write neatly. After that, plot the point zero to one to minus one to, and through that uh, we have to draw. And it's not completed. Labeling is required. Equation of the line equal to y equal to two. So this is the geometrical equation of y equal to two in the two variables. Again the same pattern. One more question they have asked. The twelfth question. Write the equation of a line which is parallel to x-axis and the distance of three units below the origin. And draw the graph. So three unit below the origin, we must clear that it is a negative only below the origin or left side of the origin like that. But is there means it is easy only. You must know that the value will be negative. It is below the origin and at a distance of three unit below. That means y equal to minus three or the equation will be y plus three equal to zero. Now draw its graph means it is in two variables only. So what is the first step? We should write the equation in two variable form. 0x plus y plus 3 equal to 0. Now make the table always minus 3 right first, and again check so you can put three values. What is the next step? We have to draw the graph. Now draw the lines. I mean x-axis and y-axis. Write the numbers, and after that, what is the next step? Plotting the points. 0 minus 3 2 minus 3 minus 2 minus 3 after that through that we have to draw the line and labeling should be done y plus 3 equal to 0 so it is parallel to x axis at a distance of 3 unit below the x axis that means y plus 3 equal to 0 now we got the equation here no, no, sorry we got the equation of a, li a line we got and we we, are, we have written equation of the line also that is it in it is in two way Triangle PQR is an equilateral triangle with each side is six centimeter. O is the point in the interior of the triangle. Triangle. If P, Q, R respectively the midpoints of O, X, O, Y, O, and Z, O, then find the perimeter of the triangle X, Y, Z. So what is given here? PQR is an ex, uh, equilateral triangle. PQR is an equilateral triangle with a side six centimeter, right? So here we got the length equal to six centimeter only. Now what is that one? It is the midpoint. P and Q are midpoint of OX, OY. Q and R is the midpoint of OY and OZ. Similarly, R and P are the midpoint of OZ and OX. Now what is the rule we hear? We Here it is a three mark question started. The last two questions were graph only, so we have plotting and all will take time. Now what is the geometrical part is asked? Since it is a three mark question, given is given. What is given in the question? PQ equal to QR equal to PR equal to six centimeter. Now what is to be find the perimeter of the triangle XYZ? There is no construction already. Diagram is given, so proof we can write. One triangle we are considering, which is that triangle O. 
OXY. Which are the midpoints? P and Q are midpoints. So by midpoint theorem we know that PQ parallel to XY, PQ equal to half of XY or we can say XY equal to double of PQ. XY equal to 2 PQ that means XY equal to 12. XY equal to 12 similarly we can find out YZ by another midpoint theorem. So Q and R midpoint theorem only. So he, if it is 6 means what is this value it will be 12 again PR is 6 it is also 12 so now we got all the three sides of the triangle XYZ so perimeter of triangle XYZ equal to 12 plus 12 plus 12 it is equal to 36 centimeter so since it is a three mark given to find or prove or proof to be there and reasons to be written midpoint theorem and your own letter don't use whatever given in the question that only we have to use in case it is not given you can assign but here the diagram is clear the letters are the same letter only to be used so by midpoint theorem that is the reason xy equal to 2 pq it is equal to 12 centimeter similarly we are calculating the other side and perimeter equal to 36 centimeter with this the practice set paper the first part i am completing uh, today's class i am winding up